Whew, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. You're telling me? Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Humor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children... I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Please, don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get aboard. Hey, everybody. I'm not great, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Vesperia, where um, I, I walked into town and immediately hit record, and uh, I'm glad that I did, because now we get to see this stuff happening. So, let's let it play out. Now get moving this instant. Asshole. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? I mean, to be fair, there are lots of giant winged monsters around... Like, we killed that butterfly in the desert. That was a giant winged monster. There was that weird, like, ghost thing. And, but Pharaoh's probably the safest guess, yeah. Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... No. I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't gonna listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. Uh-oh. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Wait, you mean... Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. Question. Where was Judith hiding that wrench? Think about that. Okay, stop thinking about it. You guys better bail me out if this goes bad. <laughs> Come on, Carol. You haven't been to prison yet. You'll be fine. So you did pick that up. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. Lying where? Where did she... What's he doing? I don't know. Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! <laughs> well, you know, they just don't want to die is all. Sir Cumor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. What? Me? Those who do their jobs slowly will never learn without punishment. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Bastard. Now be gone with you. Carol. Estelle's having a rough time with this one. Don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. Yeah. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? And is the horse okay? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach. I will find out who's responsible for this. I've got to hand it to the little runt. You did it. Good job, Carol. Great felony. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. That's all we need. 
I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. What? How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? I suppose we'll be on our way then. Oh, yeah, you guys are here. Totally forgot about you. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. No problem. Really like felonies. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, q -more. Oh, that was not a pleasant look from, <laughs> from Yuri. <laughs> Anyways, um, as we do in every episode, let's go shopping. Welcome. You okay, yeah, we already talked and did stuff. That's fine. Any new goofy stuff? Uh, let's see. Panacea bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goofy glasses. I mean, spider web, eight man coat. Okay, whatever. Uh, sunglasses. We need a shell and jet black ink. Uh, more jet black ink. One magic resin. Oh, wait, we already have those. Hmm. Visor. What do we need for this? Great raptor beak. And scaly dragon skin. Neat. Uh, white hat. All right. Uh, large claws. What are we? What are we? What are we missing here? Uh, eight man coats. All right. Cool. <laughs> Cure plaster. Ouch. Oh, it's a band aid. Cool. Um, we are short on mystic cloth. Damn it. Uh, mystic gem. We are short on hooves. I thought we had hooves. Uh, whatever. And the sacred rope. We're short on hypionian tree bark. All right. Cool. Um. We don't have very much money at all, so, uh, let's see. We're short on medical herbs, but we do have soul grass. That's fine. Uh, pineapple gel, uh, one, two, three, oh, wait, just two. Oh, okay, that's why. because <laughs> we're poor now. Um... Any ingredient? Oh, well, no, we need to... Oh, shit. Um, damn it. One save got... Yes, a battle guard. Cool. There we go. Now we can stay at the end. God, folks, I am covered in sunburns from... I can't say head to toe, because I had a hat on and shoes on, but from, like... Ankle to above the knee, and then from wrist up to just above the elbow, and then on the back of my neck, and my ears, and my nose, and my forehead, and my chest, because I don't like wearing collared shirts, and I don't button them up. I am, I am the new spokesperson for Red Lobster, and I, friends, am the lobster. It's incredibly painful. <laughs> oh, but that's that's the fun of being in manual labor. Oh god. Okay. We made it out of the desert without getting lost. We didn't bump into that strange monster either. The traps in the desert had to be that creature's doing. I've never heard of a monster with that sort of ability. As I recall, when the creature vanished, a feather fell from the sky. A pharaoh's feather? Do you think there might be some connection? Perhaps it was a talisman to keep us on the right path. The feather was there. Getting lost could be related to the pharaoh after all. Interesting. Um, anyways, let's uh, check in. Oh, you've returned safe from... Somewhere. Welcome back. Looks like they've still got guards watching him. You must be tired. Please enjoy your stay. Wait, for free? Oh, thank you. That Q-more punk is really a lousy guy. Yeah, he is. I can't wait to mess him up. Why are there so many lousy guys in the world? 
That's, wow. Patty is wise beyond her girlish years. Ugh. That's kind of sad whenever you say it like that, actually. Anyways. It's probably some kind of disease. And it's... You know what? <laughs> there are lots of really shitty guys out in the world. But there are also a fair amount of halfway decent ones. And um, a large factor in determining which guys turn out to, to fall into which category is... Um, well, it's it's entirely the guy, but it's also you know the environment and the the state of of society and the world in general, and um, I being obviously biased and you know not not an objective observer in this, but I would I would hazard a guess that perhaps with the world being on metaphorical fire. Like that's that's not the environment that you'd want to to have to find guys that that aren't um, huge bags of shit, um, whether it be in a video game or elsewhere. Anyways, um, I got sidetracked. Here we go. It's gotta be the disease they call stupidity. That it is, Patty. Good job. So you do catch on. I bet you're right. Oh, Rita made a friend. I wonder why they're trying to capture Pharaoh. <coughs> I don't know, but... But what? At this rate, they're going to send all of the adults in the town out into the desert. Unless we stop them. And once the adults are gone, it might be the children's turn next. <laughs> no, that can't happen. If I just spoke to him as a representative of the Imperial family... He would not give a shit. Are you forgetting what happened in Heliord? Heliord. Heliord? Heliord. Yeah, Estelle. He didn't care that you were the princess at all. <sighs> He's not the kind of person who'll reasonably listen to the words of a princess. Whatever happened to the talk of going to Nordopolica? Something came up. So should we help the townspeople, or should we help ourselves? Rita. How about we help ourselves by helping the townspeople? Don't you want to know what the Antelikea is thinking? If so, you should put this whole business with Cumor out of your mind for the time being. Wait. All for the guild and the guild for all, Judith. You're forgetting the rule. It's a strange feeling to be agreeing with you, but... I think we should focus on meeting Bellius for now. Even if we captured Cumor, we wouldn't have the authority to try him for his crimes. I... I can't say that I don't like the way that Yuri is just standing back there listening, but, um, it's, uh, kind of imposing. If we can't do anything about him, we should focus on what we actually can do. If only Flynn were here. Flynn? But where is he? God only knows. I wish I knew. Guess we can't kill two birds with one stone, huh? But... Now that you've mentioned killing things... I'm sorry, Estelle. We don't mean to be ganging up on you. It disgusts me, too, to imagine that jerk snoring all nice and cozy in his bed right now. But... Rita, I understand. Lock up a guy like that, and as soon as he's released, he'll just end up doing the same thing again. Or worse. Yep, you know what they say. The only cure for stupidity is death. Jesus, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, or knowledge, like, or wisdom, maybe, that's harsh. The only cure for stupidity is death. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Show me those three words I'm waiting for. Uh, 
I guess I'll have to play by my own rules. <laughs> oh yes, this makes me happy. Um, also, I want to take a, a short moment to um, to to shout out to Breezy Bay once again for for recommending the next JRPG. I was I was going to go for either Tales of Graces, Tales of Zillia, or Tales of Zestiria. Um, Zillia is the only one of those three that I actually kind of enjoyed thoroughly. Zestiria wasn't bad. Um, Graces, Graces was rough for me anyways. But um, I think I may try to acquire a copy of Tales of the Abyss for our next JRPG, uh, which will be after whatever the next game is. I like alternating. It's fun. Uh, um, <laughs> it probably burns me a couple of subscribers whenever I swap back and forth, but um, I don't care. Um, don't know why I felt like interjecting this here in this incredibly serious scene. Um, maybe I'm just delirious from exposure to the sun and being baked on top of a metal roof for eight hours. Anyways. God, I'm fucked up. Speaking of fucked up, there's the three words we wanted. Parted with everyone <laughs> also after this cutscene is uh jesus fuck yuri q more you no yuri it's you it is <laughs> What are you doing here? Watching you sleep. Someone! Someone come quick! You would cross swords with a noble? In a heartbeat. Very well. I accept your challenge. Oh, it's not a challenge. No! How could this? You talk too much, Qmore. The time's come for you to make your exit. Do, do you have any idea the trouble you're in for even pointing that thing at me? I don't mind going back to prison, Qmore. Wait! I'm not the one to blame. I've just been following orders. I had no choice. Doesn't matter to me. Then don't hate me. Hate whoever gave you your orders. <laughs> Wait, how about this? I could use my authority to pardon all of your crimes. A fresh start. Hey, I'm proud of those crimes. I may even be able to have you reinstated as a knight. I have no shortage of money. With enough money, I'm sure I could satisfy your every wish. Go ahead. Tell me what it is you want. <laughs> Do you really want to know? There's only one thing I want from you. Uh, and what might that... No, stop. Stay back. Don't come any closer, you beast. I am Kilmore, the captain of the Imperial Knights. The man destined to become Commandant. You're a man destined to become uh, Sand. I beg you, spare my life. There is a rope right there. <clears throat> we saw it. Please, no, not like this. I, I don't want to go like this. Tell me, how many times have you heard those very words? Uh-oh. 
My people have taken control of things here. The residents of this town won't suffer any longer. Um, Flynn, how much of that did you see and or hear? That ought to put you one step closer to your next promotion. I'm heading back to the others. Yuri, we need to talk later. I know. <laughs> sure. Whatever. I'm going to sleep. I'll be waiting. Down at the lake. Okay. Oh, nice little girl. I hope she's the one that decked that soldier. Who'd have guessed this town could ever be this lively? Is that... Is, is Raven passed out drunk? Maybe. Yes. It's a great relief to know that people here can live freely again. I'm still in shock that Flynn actually came. I know. He saved the day. That was amazing timing! But q -more might just cause more pain <coughs> somewhere else. Uh, only if he gives something indigestion. You watch. Flynn will have that guy behind bars in no time. Right, Yuri? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yuri? Oh. Raven, you're gonna catch a cold. In the desert. He wore himself out playing with all the children. You'd think he was 12 years old. Oh, he's a good guy. Welcome back. <laughs> They're still going out there. I can't keep up with them. Where's Patty? What happened to Patty? Oh, yeah, there we go. She's still dancing. I really don't get kids. I saw you having a good time, though. You're an awesome dancer, Rita. Punch. Oh, wait, no. Shut up. Yep, there we go. Huh? The old man's asleep already? <laughs> that was quick. Eerie? Just gonna go have a word with Flynn. I'll be back. Damn. We are still parted with everyone. Um, do we need to worry about, like, healing before we do anything? Because... <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go down. I don't remember at all. It's right after this that I that was the end of my last save file. Um, so I have no idea what's about to happen. Uh, let's talk to people. Seems that Captain Cumor wasn't a real magistrate. He didn't want us to find out, so he prohibited the residents from going out. But I'm glad he wasn't a real magistrate. If he was, we wouldn't be able to run him out of town. Nice. Phew, now I can finally relax and do some real business. Take a look at our wares. Uh, take a look at go away. Uh, hi, our welcome Blinn Brigade sale is on right now. The prices haven't changed, but... <laughs> Sweet. Uh, old man, are you okay? Oh, I think I drank too much milk. My stomach hurts. Oh... It is quite common for people to become increasingly lactose intolerant as they get older. Um, we have started drinking lactose-free milk here at the house. And by the way, it's more expensive by a couple of bucks, but it's sweeter than regular milk for science reasons. And um, I highly recommend it to anybody who enjoys milk but doesn't enjoy the horrible things that it does to your GI tract. So nice and cool at night. Gonna make sure it stays peaceful at night, too. Please let us know if you have any trouble. Captain Flynn has told us to listen well. I've had too much fun for one night. Thank you for everything. Thanks to you, we are free from the Consular, and we can return to our normal lives. It seems that you've saved Alf and Layla. We are in debt to you. I don't know how I can repay you. That's cool. Don't worry about it. 
I saw something that looked like a massive bird in the sky before we came here. I asked around, but I was the only person in the brigade who saw it. Nobody believed me. Sure, there aren't any flying monsters that size, but I know what I saw. Uh, what do you think it was? I think it was... Exactly what you saw. Oh, I see our Flynn back there. I'm just thankful to be free, I guess. You only miss something once you lose it. We've all got the Knights of the Flynn Brigade to thank for that. And now we'll be able to live without worrying. Cool. Hey, you okay? Ah, oh, what a great feeling to be free! Oh, I've had too much to eat and drink. Uh, okay, cool. You too. The night is still young. Let's celebrate! You're tired already? What's going to be the next... Or, there we go. Who's going to be the next consular? We don't need a consular in this town. This is Mantake, and we're not under the jurisdiction of the Empire. We're free! And... Patty. Even flying fish can't match the distances we've traveled. I'm exhausted. How about you? I was worried when it was just my sister and me. Like, what if you more showed up? But everything's fine now that Dad's back. Mom and Dad came back, so I'm not scared at night anymore. Aww. Alright, um, let's, uh... See what Flynn knows. We gonna sit? Why don't you have a seat? <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh. You said we needed to talk? Tell me, why did you kill two more? You know it's not our place to pass sentence on the crimes of others. No, it's not your place. He was to be punished in accordance with the laws. And just what laws do you think would have punished him? The same laws that failed to punish Rago? <sighs> Give me a break. Oh, you just tipped your, your hand there a little bit, Yuri. Yuri, you... The laws have always been the tools of whoever <laughs> happens to hold all the chips. There's a... There's a great still of dialogue from Final Fantasy Tactics. And, um... I can't remember exactly what it says, but it's something along the lines of um, a fine as a penalty for a law is a law that only applies to the poor. Something like that. Uh, that feels that feels right to interject here. Just saying that doesn't make it right for individuals to judge right from wrong, or for you to operate your own private court of law. <laughs> oh, there was no court. <laughs> We went straight from, uh, from, uh, zero to executioner. <laughs> if the laws are at fault, then fixing those laws comes first. It's for that very reason that I'm still with the Imperial Knights. But you can't deny that lives were saved because those bastards were put down. You'd rather tell those people, sorry you have to die today, I promise we'll change things soon. Ha! That's not what I'm saying at all. They're out there, you know. People so bad, they'll just go on hurting others. What can the average person do but be victimized by people like that? You know it was the same way with our people in the lower quarter. Even so, Yuri, what you're doing isn't right. Do you intend to rain your justice down on all the villains of the world? Um, if the game takes long enough, sure. That's the behavior of a common criminal. I recognize it for what it is. And I've made my choices. Murder is a crime. And even knowing that, you intend to dirty your hands. Uh, I've already done it twice. Third time's... I, I don't know what the third time is. Intend to? I already have. So this is the path you've chosen. Don't make me repeat myself. I won't. But it seems you don't yet understand the full weight of your choices. Gonna arrest me? As a knight, I cannot overlook your crimes. Cap 
Captain, I finally found you. What is it? Our barricade of Nordopolica has been completed. Wait, what? Also, it appears that the hunting blades are on the move. Double what? Sir, we must go to Nordopolica quickly. Okay. <clears throat> Captain. Understood. Sir. Yuri? <laughs> nope. I know you better than anyone alive, Yuri. If you insist on walking down the path of a criminal. Oh. Oh, wait. Repeat. Were you spying on me? Yuri. Hi, Estelle. So, you heard it all? I'm sorry. Are you afraid of me, Estelle? If you are, you can quit right here. Join Flynn and go back to the castle. I'm not going back. Oh, neat. Hey. It's true the things you've done are against the law. But I... I'm confused. It's also true that your actions saved the lives of others. Uh... You never know. Someday I might turn my blade on you. You'd never do something like that without a reason. If you ever end up pointing your sword at me, I'm sure I will have done something to deserve it. That is a lot of faith and trust. <sighs> <laughs> Yuri's not bothered by murder, but he's very uncomfortable when people trust him. If you're going to go with Flynn, now's your chance. You seem like he was in a hurry. No. I'm going to continue on this journey with you. It's what I want. Traveling with you, I know I'll find the right path for myself, too. So what I'm thinking is... Yes? Huh? Here's to the road ahead. Okay. Thanks. Oh, I haven't sawed logs like that for a good long while. Yeah, it's called oversleeping. I wish I could still oversleep. My body won't let me oversleep anymore. We're ready to hit the road, so get that sleep out of your eyes. Hey, old man, your eyes are all droopy. What? That's not good. Jeez. Huh? There are fewer nights than before. Oh yeah, they had a thing to do. We'll see them again soon. Yeah, Flynn and his crew went back to Nordopolica. That must mean they were traveling by night. Was there some emergency they had to deal with? They wanted to eat some fish, so they went back to Nordopolica. Sounds reasonable to me. Oh, come on, Patty. They're not like you. Maybe they had to take care of the monsters from the Colosseum. I'll bet Paul Estrale requested the help of the knights. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm? Well, it's just that Flynn said something about a barricade. Barricade? What could that mean? Well, a barricade... It, well, oh wait, that's not what you meant. Sorry, my bad. Are they out to arrest Bellius for what happened in the Great War? I can't imagine that Paul Estrale would be outmaneuvered <clears throat> that easily by the Knights. I get the feeling this is gonna get messy. Maybe we should think twice about heading back to Nordopolica for now. But the new moon's almost here. If we miss this chance, who knows when we might meet Bellius again? Yeah, I think we should, we should, we should do it. We should go meet Bellius. If I can't go to Nordopolica, I can't get on a ship. If I don't get on a ship, I won't be able to find the Maristella or recover my memory. 
There's that too. That's all well and good. I'm just not in a hurry to get tangled up with that armor wearing bunch. Fair point. Me neither. We'll just have to be careful, like always. No use panicking about it. Don't forget, I want to take a look at the air crane and Kados. Oh yeah, we've got to walk through there. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. All right, let's head out. <laughs> Reunited with everyone, and two of them know we're a murderer. Things are bound to improve here in Mantake, now that Flynn's liberated the town. They did allow the ringleader to escape, though. Kimor? Flynn will catch him in no time, right, Yuri? Hmm. Oh yeah, sure he will. Is something wrong? He looked troubled. Estelle's not her usual perky self, either. That's not true. I'm as happy as you all are that Mantake's been freed. If you say so. Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's uh, save our game. And now we are exactly where my, my last save file was before I saved over it with this Let's Play. We're gonna keep going after we talk to this lady. Hey, it's you. Did my canteen help in coming back from the desert alive? Go ahead, keep it. Use it as long as you like. It's my way of celebrating our new freedom. Cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, Carol. What's up, Yuri? When we finish Estelle's request, shouldn't Brave Vesperia start looking for other jobs? Yeah, you're right. Uh, I wonder what we should do. We can get a job in Dongress if we were members of the Union. Hey, kid, didn't you know? The Union will throw you work even if you don't join them. They take a cut, but... Really? Really? But it'll take us some time to return to Dongress from here. If we can find a Union's outpost staff around, we might be able to get a job. Then why not look for them? Judith, you coming? Whew. Uh, but what should we do about Pharaoh? If this is something we need to do as a guild, I don't mind. We. <laughs> Thank you, Estelle. Okay, let's go. Um, where is the guild outpost thingamajigger? Who are you? It seems that Captain Kumor wasn't a real magistrate. Didn't want us to find out, so he prohibited the residents from going out. Yep, real piece of shit, that guy. I saw something that... Okay, we already talked to you. Who are you? Wow, this actually is a really nice town, isn't it? Maybe I'll stay here a little longer. That'd be cool. You do you, I guess. Oasis, Wasens, Sense of Kagor. Um... Is the board... Where's where's this board thingamajig? Your friend is quite talented, considering the ease with which he saved Mantake. Who, Flynn? That was nothing for him. You know him really well, don't you, Yuri? Well, we've hung around together since we were kids. You don't hang around together much anymore, though. <sighs> Yuri? Oof. That's a big oof. Who are you? Hey! Hey there, Raven. Your friend there, that's, uh, that's the little guild hopper, right? The name's Carol. I'm a member of a guild called Brave Vesperia now. Oh, Brave Vesperia, huh? So what business does your guild have with us? Is this the Union Outpost? Yeah, looking for a job? Well, let's see. This is about all I've got at the moment. That is uncomfortably close. Uh, let's see. Uh, request transportation for my goods. You, Saren. Uh, what's this supposed to mean? There's no detailed information here. Well, it is the Union. They're probably all going to be pretty standard jobs. Should be just about right for one of your first jobs. It pays 4,200 gold. I need money. Give it to me. Hold on a sec. Brave Vesperia isn't a member of the Union, you know. Huh? You're unaffiliated? Okay, so with the 30% finder's fee, that brings your take down to 3,000 gold. What do you think? You want it? Except, Man, 30%? You could have just kept quiet, Raven. That's just the way it works. It'd be worse if they found out later. It's fine. I mean, we're already here, right? Let's do it, Carol. Yeah. Alright. 
All right, now go talk to the client. They'll fill you in on all the details of the job. Use a guy who usually hangs out around the bridge near the entrance of town. All right, let's go and talk to him. So now we know where the rest of the video is going. We're doing a an escort quest. Eh, this guy. Yep. Are you Mr. Saren? Yes, I'm you, Saren. Uh, I don't like that voice. Um. <laughs> Are you from the Union? Yeah, we're a guild, Brave Vesperia. Brave as hmm, I, I haven't heard of you. Screw it, I'm, <laughs> I'm too sun exposed to focus too much on voices. But don't worry, we can handle it. You need people to deliver some stuff, right? Yes, I'd like someone to take a book to an old friend of mine. A book? Yes, quite an important one. It's a book that holds many memories for us. We'll make sure to take good care of it. Please don't lose it. If that should happen, I'll have you pay compensation for the lost item through the Union. Carol said don't worry, right? So don't worry. And who might this friend of yours be? His name is Novus Celestial. He's currently traveling, so I don't know exactly where he is. I think he's probably in one of the cities on Tilbikia or Desir. Please take this crest. If you carry this with you, he should recognize it and call out to you himself. A fiery soul into a sea of flames. You'll know as Nobis if he says this to you. Okay, got it. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky, Brave Vesperia. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Okay, bye. What was that thing you said at the end there that sounded like a magic spell? It's an oath for taking a new job. It's proof that you accept the client's request. Interesting. All right, let's go look for Nobis. We got the Book of Friendship and the Comrade Crest. Cool. Um, so I guess we're going this way anyways. That's fine. That's, uh, who are you? This is Mantake, an oasis in the middle of the desert. You can rest easy here, murderer. So they're good knights after all? What's that guy's name? Flynn? He's amazing. All right, that's enough Flynn worship for one town. Thank you very much. Time to book it. Or another cutscene. That's whatever. Good day. Hi. Ah. Are you going to the Weasand of Kados? Eh, hey, we are. Also, can you tell me what the fuck a Weasand is? Yes, we are. Why do you ask? The Imperial Knights have sealed off passage through Kados. Mm. God damn it. It's not just here. They've set up blockades at all of the routes through the mountains. Blockades? Why would they... <laughs> My fault. I don't know all the details, but I heard that it has something to do with some danger in Nordopolica. What should we do? We need to get to Nordopolica before the new moon. Maybe it's not my fault. They talked about that blockade thing. Never mind. Well, let's see what happens. I wish I could help, but they wouldn't even let me through, and I have a travel permit. Are you a member of the Fortunes Market? Yes. How'd you get your permit? The Empire issues travel permits to Fortune's Market so that its members can travel wherever they want. At least, that's how it's supposed to be. Right. But the Imperial Knights wouldn't let me go any further. I'm going back to Mantake, since there's no way to get around them. We'll fight our way through. Should we go back to Mantake and chill out too? No. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Do you think Flynn ordered the blockades? I couldn't say. Either way, we can't afford to be stuck here for much longer. Yes, it'll be a lot of trouble if we miss the new moon. But I don't think they'd let us through, even if we asked nicely. Well, to be honest, we can go take a look and think about how to get in. The hard part will only come once we've gotten inside. What do you mean, once we've gotten inside? They set up blockades to make it hard to get out of the mountains. Getting inside shouldn't be nearly as tough. I think that much is safe to assume. Well then, should we go back to Mantake to do some final preparations? We're already well prepared. No, we're fine. 
Let's go like we are. There we go. Go like you are, like you were, and we'll save outside the cave. Save completed. All right, uh, we're gonna keep pushing forward. I got another 15 minutes. Ooh, we're sneaky. The Flynn Brigade. So that's the blockade? Yeah, looks like it was Flynn's brigade's doing after all. But what are those monsters doing here? Perhaps they've been tamed by the knights? This brigade is reminding me of Flynn less and less. Hmm. What the hell is Flynn doing with his knights anyway? Hardcore tactics like this? There ain't any doubt in my mind this has something to do with the talk of Bellius engineering the Great War. So, how do we get past this checkpoint? Wait, I think we're... Huh. Anyways. Huh? Yes, Patty? Seriously? Let's do that! And then? What could they be talking about? God, I hope she's not flirting with him. Old man, do you mind keeping it down? Sorry, sorry. Now that sounds like fun. How about this? Huh? What? 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 What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, indeed? Stop it! Settle down! Let's go now. Good hey, call, hey, Patty. Don't leave this old man behind. <laughs> What the? Come back, you! <laughs> no. Yuri Lowell. That's my name. See ya. Have fun. Sweet. We did. That Mischief. Was pretty slick, old man. What are you saying? That was all thanks to Patty. Humans work a lot harder when they get rewarded, don't they? Rewarded? What are you talking about? God, I don't know if I want to know. That's our little secret. It's just between us, right, Patty? So annoying. And disturbing. It's our little secret. Uh, There are some problematic aspects of this game, and I honestly hope this is not one of them. What is that nonsense? Rita hopes that too. It's probably some useless promise of theirs. Anyway, let's keep moving. Only the Empire has enough power to cut off all the ways in and out of a whole town. Well, the Guild's power is totally different. The Union would never try something like this. It's the Empire's style. Crush problems with everything they've got. What are they after? Who do they think they are, sealing off all the roads like this? I think the answer to that lies in Nordopolica. We should hurry before we're caught. Indeed. I'm also more than ready to have access to my... There's the save points gone. To have access to my ship. Um, new enemy. Maybe this gives us hooves. Oh, damn. Mother. You like that? Ow, ow, ow. You like that? Damn it. You like that? Holy power, come you can't. Uh, 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 angels grant uh, your favor. You can't. Uh, you like that? You like that? Uh, Wonderful. There we go. Wait, how did... Wow, Judith got taken down. Um, whatever. The sign of victory! We did not get her back. We got hooves, though. We needed those. Damn. What is up with... What's up, Judy? What is, what is going on here? Um, alright. Life bottle... Apple gel. Um, 
Is it your equipment? No. Is it just bad luck? Maybe. Uh, let's give you some defense, I guess. Sure. All right. Um, oh, it's another spider. Okay, fine. Ooh, they look scary. They do not look scary. The cry of victory. <sighs> so, what was that deal you were talking about? A deal? What sort of deal? With who? You said something about a deal with the old man when we were in Kados. I... Don't tell me you forgot. Uh, no. I haven't forgotten. She forgot. So it's a secret, is it? I'll tell you, Yuri. Since I can trust you. I appreciate it. If he works hard here, I'll teach him Judy's measurements. <laughs> you really know how his mind works, don't you? It's not exactly a mystery. Hmm? What's up? Shouldn't we be hurrying along? Hey, you're not as young as you used to be. Let's take it easy. Seconded! Well, well what do you mean? <laughs> okay, that was far less problematic than it could have been. I'll take it. Sinclair Saber, a beautiful longsword created with extra care. A masterpiece of true craftsmanship. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're still learning stuff. It's fine. Um. Interesting, though. Hmm. It looks like they aren't following us. That was pretty fun. Hey, this is no game. Seriously. Now that's what I'm talking about. Combining Patty's brain with my technique. Two heads are better than one. Yeah, but they went and sealed off a dangerous place like this just to isolate Nordopolica. These guys mean business. Seriously, even bringing monsters to help? Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. I can't believe that Flynn would order something like this. Hey, what kind of person is Flynn? Well, we thought we knew. He's Yuri's friend. I've heard they've known each other since they were children. Sometimes orders coming down from the top don't make sense. The meaning can get lost going down the chain of command. When a brigade gets big and famous enough, things can start to get out of hand. You certainly know a lot about these things. It makes sense for someone in Altosk. Things can end up like that no matter what the organization. What worries me is how much of a hand Flynn had in all this. I'm sure we'll get a good understanding of that as soon as we can get to Nordopolica. That's right. So let's go then. But we should be on our guard. That too. Even though I find it hard to believe that they've conquered Nordopolica by force. Yeah, I think the Palastrale would have a problem with that. Sorry, Rita. You won't get much time to investigate the Air Krenny. Ugh, oh well. I don't have much choice. It'd be bad if they caught up to us. Exactly. Come on, let's get going. Yuri sure is enthusiastic. Nobody else left. He won't say it, but I reckon he's just worried about his friend. Do Flynn and Yuri really have that strong of a bond? Hmm, well, you could call it strong, I guess. Maybe. What? Are you jealous? And we've entered problematic again. Hmm, I'll have to hold a strategic meeting to stop Yuri from being snatched away from me. Yep. <sighs> okay. Hold still. I'll make this quick. All right, we need to use a lens. Cool. Run a little bit. Got it. All right. All 
All right, he. Okay, they don't like down. There we go. That went Damn. way better. Yay. You got pretty good. We got some main. Cool. Oh wait, there we go. Full check or recovering guard? Uh, probably full check. Yeah. Still learning that. Got it. Cool. We already have all the items in here, so I don't have to worry about... Oh, but we want the drops. We want the drops. Oh, we got a couple minutes. We'll uh, clear out this room, and then we'll call it an episode. I think. You'll be gone soon enough. Damn it. Night Fencer F does not care about my down attacks. Thing. There we go. Uh, maybe ups. Yep, ups. Stop it. Finally. All right, this guy is, uh, he does not like down. Oh, I'm out of TP. Damn it. There we go. Learned a lot of stuff. That's nice. Uh, let's see. All right, everybody's still good on their weapons. Uh, let's go ahead and use an orange gel uh, or two on Yuri and fight this thing. Get ready. I'm taking you down. A night catcher. All right, so I guess they exist. You Why did that give me a down? That's what happens when I get serious. Yeah. I... These are the threads. That... Wow, we're learning tons of stuff. Sweet. All right. Um. There we go. Um, we'll go for that. Cool. They're wide open. It's nothing personal. Oh. 
There we go. Alright, I think the problem I'm having is with my down art. Azure Wolf Strike is technically a down. Severing Fang. Um, oh, Severing Fang is a down. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Okay, I must have had those two can like mixed up. Take this. Ow! 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 And another. Ow. There we go. Alright, I don't need to worry about you. Alright, we have a catcher, a guard, a fencer, and another fencer. Um I'll blow you away. Yep, up. Nice, get off of me. You like that? You like that? God damn. Um, I don't think I've hit a difficulty spike. I think it's just me. We're done. Yeah, I deserve that negative grade. All right, well, nuts to it. We'll um, hopefully I won't be over uh, overcooked tomorrow. We'll call it a thing here, and uh, finish fighting our way through the Weasand of Kados. Still have no idea what a Weasand is. So thank you all for watching. I do, I do hope I see you in the next episode. Um, I also hope I remember how to speak words. Words are important things with mouth and brain. I also hope that you're staying safe and healthy out there. And also, if you like the video, then like the video. If you like the channel, then subscribe. There's going to be a playlist in the bottom left. It's Tales of Symphonia. There's going to be a random ass video on the top left. No idea what it's going to be, but it'll be one of mine. And then on, there's a subscribe button on the right. Hit him if you like. Don't if you don't. I don't care. I'm just here to play games. And uh, I do hope I see you in the next one. So until then, do please try to have a good one.